Wow, it happened again, didn't it? A famous TV fitness superstar suffered from a heart attack. And it even happens to people like you and to people that you personally know and love. I know having a heart attack, or worse, a stroke, is something that everyone wants to avoid. Everyone's situation is different, but the results are usually all the same. 50% of the population is going to suffer from a heart attack or a stroke. Let me know if this sounds familiar to you. You go to your doc for your annual exam, they do some tests, order your blood panels, and when you get the results back, everything checks out fine. Only you know that deep inside your heart, you're not exercising as much as you should, you're not eating as healthy as you could be, and you're probably stressed out of your mind. Come on, admit it. If a TV fitness superstar who CrossFits every single day, whose job is to help people to actually lose weight and get healthy, can have a heart attack himself, what's protecting you? When will it be your turn? Look, I'm not interested in waiting for a diagnosis of heart disease, or worse, from suffering or dropping dead from a heart attack in an instant. I want to share with you the most important blood marker that you should have ordered to truly know your risk of heart disease, and it's not a cholesterol test like most people think. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel, and I've spent the last 20 years studying human nutrition and optimal health. I've read thousands upon thousands of books, research reports, and I've spent over $250,000 in training and education to help people just like you. When I was a child, my grandfather died from heart disease. He was one of my best friends growing up, and then a few years later, my grandmother passed away from heart failure. Now, over the last few decades, I've lost family members and friends to this horrible condition, and even my own father has been diagnosed with heart disease. And it had nothing to do with a lack of medical care. In fact, most of these people visited their doctors regularly, and they got tested, and they were told that they were fine. Yet they still ended up dying or suffering from it. And that's when I had my big aha moment. That's when I decided that I had to make a change, and not for myself, but for the health of the future of my family as well. And so I dedicated my life to understanding what was going on. Why is it that every year for the past 50 years, people have been taking more drugs, undergoing more medical procedures, we now spend more money on healthcare than ever before, yet we've continued to suffer from serious disease. Why is it that people end up having heart attacks and strokes, even though their doctor told them that they were okay, or even though they were taking the properly prescribed drugs that they supposedly needed? What I found was actually pretty shocking. I finally realized why medicine was failing. I discovered that it's really just a big lie, and that heart attacks and strokes have very little to do with managing cholesterol, or reducing fat for that matter. The problem is not high cholesterol or low cholesterol. The problem is not being on the right medications or not having access to enough doctors or not having insurance. The real problem is not enough people know the truth. And there's so much information out there and, and, and a lot of it is just presented in the wrong way. There are myths that continue to exist even within the medical community itself, despite what the medical literature says. And it's not just that doctors don't care or it's not that they're not intelligent. Obviously, they're very smart and very caring. It's just that they don't have the time to read the medical literature, and unfortunately, this information, it's not even taught in medical schools, because the curriculum is largely influenced by the people who stand to lose out on the truth. So what is the truth? Well, the word doctor comes from the Latin word docere, which means to teach. So the truth is, if your doctor is not teaching you, then you're not getting the appropriate care that you need. And that's where it all begins is that your doctor needs to be sharing the vital information that you desperately need to be able to help yourself. But that's why I created the Healthy Heart Prescription Program. I realized that many doctors just don't have the time or the resources to do this themselves. I also realized that you are your very best doctor because you are the only person who can truly care for yourself. Like I said earlier, it has taken me years to put together this information. I had to dig through hundreds of research papers and sift through dozens of textbooks, and I even interviewed leading experts across the world. Between reading, subscriptions, traveling, and education, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to create this program. But now, it actually makes things so much easier for me. What used to take me three months of education and close to $2,400 of regular office visits with a patient can now be delivered instantly and at the fraction of the cost. I put my entire heart saving program into one system that contains multimedia presentations designed to give you a clear understanding of how to prevent heart disease, 
and become your own best heart doctor. This program gives you everything that you need to know about heart health than most doctors know about heart health themselves. This program contains six weeks of hours of multimedia presentations, all clearly laid out for you to be able to grab the information. It contains PDF handouts and cheat sheets for every single module, plus you're gonna get MP3s and transcripts of everything within the program, so that way you can either listen, watch, or read depending on your preference. I include my best recommendations for supplements proven to work, as well as give you specific information on how to read your lab tests and how to determine your risk of disease and what you can do about it. The total value of this program is set at $1,500. Now, if all this did was to help you to reduce your risk of heart disease, if it helped you to avoid a heart attack or to prevent a stroke, would it be worth it? If all this program did was to help you to increase your energy, to lose weight and feel great about your health, would it be worth it? Look, I'm not asking you to pay $1,500. I'm not asking you to pay $500. All I want you to do is make a $147 investment in yourself. I'm even going to take the risk 100% and guarantee this program. So if at any time you find that the information is not useful or you find that it's not helpful in any way, simply send me an email and I will refund you 100%, no questions asked. But I need you to act now because I'm only willing to help people who are willing to take action themselves. Imagine what your life is gonna be like knowing that you're taking control of your health and not having the fear of disease in the back of your mind. If this is something that you want, then click on the button below and let's get started.